Believe it or not, after running out of booze and getting murdered by goblins, the next greatest threat to dwarven kind might just be running out of fresh laundry. Dwarves with tattered clothes will get cranky, and the last thing a new player needs is tantrum spirals. To get a thriving clothing industry, an overseer can use the in-game job manager to keep the fortress churning out clothing goods. Step one is to ensure that you have stock of the four main types of clothing material, cloth, silk, yarn, and leather. Cloth can be gained from pigtail grown underground, or hemp or other types of plants that are grown above ground. Simply build a farm plot and assign pigtail seeds to the plot to get your dwarves to grow this. A farmer's workshop will be needed to process the raw pigtail into thread, and a loom will be required to transform the thread into cloth. You can dye the cloth to add extra value using dimple dye. To get silk, you can either buy it from caravans or attempt to break into the caverns to collect it from the source. Cave spiders. The loom workshop will queue up the task automatically to collect silk and weave it into thread, but be wary that your dwarves aren't risking their lives. An elaborate trap system can also be set up using cave spiders or other creatures that produce silk, like certain forgotten beasts. Leather, on the other hand, can be obtained from caravans or from tanning fresh hides generated by your butcher. Finally, yarn and wool is created at the farmer's workshop after shearing animals and making the wool into yarn thread. Once your dwarves have a steady stream of any type of cloth, let's make sure we place down our main buildings, the clothier workshop and the leather worker shop. Now, let's head over to the in-game job manager to set up some conditional job tasks. The purpose of this is to set it and then forget it forever. Hit J and then M for the manager and Q to queue up a new task. Dwarf Fortress separates the clothing into individual pieces, so let's do the first one. Let's write in socks. After choosing the material type, press C to add conditions to this labor. We want the manager to monitor both reagents and products of this job, so first we'll hit R for reagents. Let's request that the job only queues up if there is at least five available materials for the job. Use Q to find the correct inequality. We're looking for at least in this case, and then hit N to change the number to five. Now let's add our product requirement using P. We want there to be at least 10 available socks within the fortress. So again, we're hitting Q to change the inequality and N if we want to change the number. In the in-game job manager, overseers can specify a job for each type of clothing. Once set, the dwarves will churn out clothing goods at a steady pace. Don't be surprised if they occasionally drop all of their clothes during a task in order to pick up some fancy new duds. These piles of tattered clothing will be stored away in owned storage items or back into your clothing stockpile. You can either sell the tattered clothing for profit or atom smash it. 